Australian scientists have unveiled a multi-million dollar robot that's expected to revolutionize the treatment of childhood cancer. The new machine can test thousands of drugs every minute in the hope of fast tracking a cancer cure. Researchers hope the new technology can help save the three Australian children who die from cancer every week. The Children's Cancer Institute has made some amazing progress over the last few decades, but it's been very slow, labour-intensive work. But now that work has been given a significant boost. This, what you see before you here, is a um, $750,000 piece of equipment. The robotics that will enable us to screen literally about 20,000 compounds a day. Because each case is slightly different, thousands of drugs can be tested against a cancer to find the most effective treatment. This is some of the most up-to-date, state-of-the-art technology in the world. It can fast-track a year's work to a matter of days. It's a huge advance in bringing forward some of that vital treatment that children with cancer desperately need. It's been hailed as a new era of personalised medicine where treatment can be tailored to the genetic makeup of the patient. Current treatments that are being given are based on research that's been done yesterday. This work now is giving us the treatments of tomorrow. The project has been funded by the Australian Cancer Research Foundation to the tune of more than $3 million. The foundation's chief says that's money well spent. We want by 2020 for 100% of kids with cancer that have a serious optimism that they're going to be cured. Um, right now it's sitting at about 70%. One of the founders of the Children's Cancer Institute is Jack Cassis. His daughter was diagnosed with leukaemia at the age of six. She survived, but many others haven't. If we compare to what we had then, to what we're standing here in front of today, uh, I never thought in my lifetime that I would see such a world-class centre Another step towards finding that elusive magic bullet, cure for cancer. Sam Eichen, World News, Australia.